welcome back guys i hope all of you will be fine so this is question 4.55 and the statement of this question is suppose that a grocery store purchases five cartons of skim milk at the wholesale price of 1.20 dollars per carton and retails the milk at 1.65 per carton after the expiration date the unsold milk is removed from the shelf and the grocer receives a credit from the distributor equal to the three-fourths of the wholesale price okay so what is basically the wholesale price it is this one if the probability distribution of the random variable x the number of cartons that are sold from this lot is here this is the probability distribution for the number of cartons which is x we have to find the expected profit okay so now in order to solve this question what do we have to do here x is what x is basically the number of cartons okay so now in order to find the profit here what do we have to do first we have to find out all the expenditures and also the profits which a person has got okay so we have to subtract the expenditures from the profit he got okay so the first expenditure is that of this buying okay so he has bought five cartons of skim milk at the wholesale price of 1.20 per carton okay so the expenditure on cartons is how much that is basically the number of cartons which are five and each carton is of 1.20 dollar okay so it will give us what it will give us six dollars okay so the six dollar is the expenditure on cartons similarly after the expiration date the unsold milk is removed from the shelf and grocer receives a credit from the distributor equal to the three-fourth of the wholesale price okay so money back after expiry this is what this is three-fourth of the wholesale price so three by four multiplied by the wholesale price which is 1.20 okay so it would be 0 0.90 dollars okay so this is what we have here also the profit he will get from the per carton okay this is 1.65 okay so on the x number of cartons the profit he will have profit from cartons he will have here what x which are the number of cartons multiplied by what it has to be multiplied with the amount of each carton and that is 1.65 okay so x multiplied by 165 is the amount here okay so now in order to find the total profit here or let me call it the profit p this profit is equal to what profit from cartons okay which is here plus money back after expiry money back after expiry from x number of cartons which will be different than this one okay i will show you how is it different and we have to subtract this amount okay from this amount i have to subtract the expenditure on cartons okay so that is already known that is six dollar let me put all these values so profit from cartons is what this is one six five multiplied by x okay similarly with it i have to add what many backed after expiry from x so each carton is giving us this 90 
zero point nine zero dollars. So therefore, this would be the zero point nine zero. So we will have five cartons. So out of five, the remaining amount will be multiplied with this one, and it will be what? It will be the amount we will get. Okay, and also the expenditure here is minus the expenditure which is known, and that is six dollar. Okay, so let me write it here six. Okay, so let me calculate it. And this is a question we have simplified. So it would be 1.65x. Okay, multiplying this inside of it. Okay, so it would be 0.90 multiplied by 5. So it would be 4.5 minus 0.90x. Okay, and also minus 6. Okay, so let me find it out. It would be 1.65 minus 0.90. It would be 0. 75x okay also it would be 4.5 minus 6 it would be 1.5 okay so this is the value for p now let me move down somehow okay so this is what this is basically the number of cartons here now in order to find them out here the profit if the number of cartons here is one putting here one we will get the profit two we will get here the profit and whatsoever but here we have to find the expected profit okay we have to find the expected profit for which this x should be the expected value of x okay so therefore in order to find out the expected value of p it would be what it would be 0 0.75 multiplied by the expected value of x minus 1.5 and that is what that is the equation which we are going to follow here okay let me correct it okay so this is what we have here now in order to find the value of e of x we have to do what we have to use this formulation in which this is x this is f of x and it would be what multiplying each term here with the corresponding density function we will get 0 multiplied by 1 over 15 plus 1 multiplied by 2 over 15 plus 2 multiplied by 2 over 15 okay 3 multiplied by 3 over 15 4 multiplied by 4 over 15 plus 5 multiplied by 3 over 15 okay so from here we will get the expected value so calculating it what i will get here it will become 2 over 15 plus 4 over 15 plus 9 over 15 plus 16 over 15 plus 15 over 15 let me move down somehow and here the expected value of x would be what it would be 2 plus 4 6 6 plus 9 15 15 15 30 so it would be 46 over 15 okay so this is the expected value of x let me take it and put it here okay let me use another color for it this color let me take it and put it here what would we get the expected value of profit would become 0 0.75 multiplied by 46 over 15 minus 1.5 okay so calculating it what would we get it would be 0 0.80 dollars and that is what that is basically the solution of our question okay so you have seen that how to find out the expected value of profit from the number of expenditure from the number of profits and the return quantities okay so that's what we have solved here in this question 4.55 if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon